the things with your friends. Welcome to a new edition of the IoT Friday. Today I'm going to present the, how to learn Intel Edison in five minutes, actually with the Intel Edison that I actually have here in my, in my fingers. It's actually a very small new mic microcontroller. Actually, it's a do-it-yourself new platform. So I would like to explain you in five minutes and with four very easy steps how to program with this new chip. So first of all, I would like to introduce the Edison. So the Edison is this size and actually brings uh, two different kind of uh, official by Intel um, breakouts. One could be this uh, Arduino breakout that is actually quite big, but it has the, the same pins as an Arduino or a mini breakout that actually Intel is also selling. If you go to SparkFun, actually there you can find several breakouts that SparkFun Taylor had made by, for the Edison. So, actually the Edison here, you can find an Intel Quark at 100 uh, megahertz plus one gigabyte uh, RAM, four gigabytes uh, hard, hard disk, 40 GPIO, and uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth low energy. So actually it's a very powerful and a small device to program whatever you like. To connect the Edison to your computer, uh, but it's actually the second step, the connection, uh, you actually need to plug two mini USB cables into your breakout and then you have two choices to program the Intel Edison, at least two choices. The first one is the XDK. Uh, the XDK is an IDE made by Intel, where you can program with C, C++, uh, Node, Python, uh, to, to the Intel, Intel Edison, into the Yocto Linux uh, operating system that it's running inside the, the Edison. And the second, that it's the one I chose uh, to program and make everything, it's the screen method. So I have a Mac uh, computer, and if you do a screen, uh, the uh, USB serial, and then you go to this uh, serial port, the uh, 115200, then you can get access into the, into the Linux image that it's running into the Edison. Then the user, if, if it's brand new, it's root. And then you can uh, make configure Edison, and then there you can change the username, you can put a password, and you can decide uh, if you want to connect it to a Wi-Fi. It usually works pretty, pretty well. Okay, so the third step is how to program it. And then you have to decide. It depends if what kind of breakout do you have, what kind of technology is your favorite one. So <clears throat> you have the choice, the very first choice to program in Arduino, in the case if you have the, the um, breakout for Arduino, or you have the mini breakout from Intel, you can also use Arduino. So for Arduino, you need to download the last ID of Arduino, or even go to the website of, um, of Intel and download their, the special version of Arduino IDE for Intel Edison. Then if you want to program with C and C++, for example, you need to download the Eclipse uh, version that is also on the Intel Edison website at Intel. And finally, with Python or Node.js, you can decide to program with the XDK or even as I, I, I did uh, with uh, VI or uh, whatever you, you like to use on, on Linux. Uh, it works pretty well, and it's very easy to, to do it. Um, finally, I would like to introduce some of the main libraries that you need to use if, if you want to program with, uh, with Intel Edison. And, and <coughs> the first one that is uh, most important is it's MRAA. That means nothing. Uh, this is uh, one of the uh, explanations that uh, the developers from Intel say. But this is very important if you want to control the GPIO from Python, uh, JavaScript, or C. So you will need this library. So I suggest you to go to the GitHub, uh, the Intel IoT Dev Kit uh, repositories, and you will find MRAA there. And you will, uh, in the README file, you will see all the instructions to install it uh, at your Yocto image. Uh, second, uh, in case that you buy the Seed Studio Sensor Kit uh, that is actually going with the Intel Edison first edition, um, or maybe some other developers made other um, or connect other sensors with Intel Edison, you will need to use the UPM, that it's for high level uh, sensors. So in these libraries, you can see a lot of code, like low level code to how to connect uh, exact sensor into the Intel Edison. Finally, at the GitHub of the things that I owe, you will find also code uh, to uh, um, connect your Intel Edison with the REST APIs and Qt co-op and WebSockets if you want to store real-time data, the things. 
uh, the GitHub account is github.com dot slash the things or the things io. And finally, uh, and one very cool thing that Intel is doing is they are giving prizes to people who is putting the, their projects in Instructable. So if you have a cool project or anything with Intel Edison, yeah, it's a good moment to upload it to Instructable and maybe you have the chance to win, I think, 1,000 euros or similar. So, okay, this was the IoT Friday for today. Thank you and see you next IoT Friday. Bye-bye.